Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Modern Mining. Today I'm going to be building this crazy shelf and show you guys why I'm building it and how much it's actually improved my airflow. Stay tuned. Well guys, I mentioned in a prior video that I wanted to give my garage one more shot before I ended up building a crypto mining shed. So today we're going to give it that shot. I'm going to be building a big shelf to hold up to four 12 card rigs and i'm also going to be enclosing it in basically insulation board to get the heat immediately sucked out and prevent it from kind of expanding into the rest of the garage and bring all the airflow from my exhaust fan through the gpus themselves so what you saw at the beginning of these clips is first thing i did was just measure my current rigs what's their height what's their depth I need to make this shelf custom fitting to fit these 12 card rigs because they're pretty large. Now I could have gone and bought like a gorilla shelf for one of those big metal shelves, but you know how this channel works. We try to do everything as DIY and as cheap as possible. So I decided I'm just gonna build some out of two by fours and I think it ended up taking around nine two by fours or maybe 10. Total cost of this whole project, let's talk about that. It was only $220, I believe, for all the wood, all the insulation board, and I thought that was a pretty good deal when you consider that a metal shelf, like a gorilla shelf, is already $150 on its own. Being able to get the insulation board included in that for $220 seemed like a really great deal. And I've mentioned in the past with wooded mining rig frames that some of the nice things about them are is that they're so customizable. So if I want to add a fourth shelf to this shelf at some point, I can easily do that. Or if I want to make the shelves taller, I can easily do that as well. So let's talk about the build for a little bit real quick. I basically wanted to make it so that I don't have to put plywood on the shelves themselves just to save money because plywood always seems to be the most expensive so the way i did that is just basically these shelf struts i don't i guess that's what you call them uh will actually hold the gpus themselves so that way i don't have to actually put any shelving material on them so the way i built this thing is i was trying to measure out the heights of each shelf but it, it was not being very accurate and i was having trouble getting it level so i ended up building that little spacer bar just cutting a piece i believe it was like 18 inches for the gaps between the shelves and once i did that it was super easy just to make sure that every shelf was at the exact right level assuming the first one was correct so i used that for the rest of the build and i basically built up both sides and then shortly here you're going to see me stand them up and then screw them together and i was pretty worried that the leveling and stuff wasn't going to come out right uh, but it ended up turning out really good and real quickly let me know how you guys feel about build montage videos like this i know with this being a crypto mining channel there's a kind of a lot of variation of content that i put out building stuff as well as just looking into different coin projects so let me know how you feel about these type of videos i'm curious to see so this is what I was talking about earlier, standing up these two sides of the shelves. And right here I realized, uh-oh, it's a little too tall. So I ended up having to take it down and trim like a half inch off of the top of it. Now I wanted it to be tall like that so when it's screwed together both sides that there's no chance for it to tip over because it's basically snug up against the ceiling. And it's just, there's, it's not possible for it to tip over. So that was very important for me, especially because I'm going to be backing my car up right up close to this over and over again. So really, I don't want any risk of me ever tapping it in the whole shelf, kind of tumbling over. Uh, it looks a little flimsy, but once I start getting these other cross members in, it becomes a lot more sturdy. I thought about putting some like diagonal bracing once I was finished, but once I got all the cross members on, it, it was pretty sturdy. I was using three inch wood screws, like deck screws. Um, I only recently learned that you're not supposed to use drywall screws for like shelving builds or 
other builds like that. I basically just have always kept a pack of drywall screws at the house and use that for everything. So this thing's going to be holding some serious weight. So I did go ahead and use the good screws. But let's take a look at the finished product. All right, guys, it's all finished. Not bad for whipping up the plans all on my own. Just drew them on a piece of paper. I was really concerned about how the leveling was going to come out because it wasn't really going together how I wanted, but I mean, it's really good. And also across as well, I was concerned about that. Really good. So a few things, I made it very shallow so that I don't even need to put wood over it here. The rigs will rest on these two. Those should be about 16 inches apart. Let's check that. And my rig bases are 17 inches, so there will be some overhang. And I may end up putting some middle studs in between. Yeah, 16 inches. I made it a little bit wider than I wanted. I was planning on it being 47 inches so that the 48 inch width of those boards would be the exact width of the shelf, but somehow somewhere I messed up and it's actually 50 inches. But that's okay because I can just put the board in between these two studs and we should be okay. So that's the next step. That should go a lot faster. I might need to make those, get those fishing poles out of the way. We'll see. Um, one rig will sit there, the other rig will sit there, and the next rig will sit there. And honestly, I probably will put a middle stud in them in case it slips off. I don't want a rig falling through, obviously. So that's maybe one more step. I have to get a couple more boards and I'm gonna do that. All right, let's get on the styrofoam. So the shelf itself is only one part of this sort of exhaust setup build that I'm doing right here. The Maybe the more important part is enclosing that shelf with the exhaust fan in the back so that all of the heat from our rigs is getting immediately pulled out of that exhaust fan. But maybe even more importantly is that all the cool air that's being sucked in from my intake vents is now being pulled directly through all of the GPUs. So I've already noticed a very big difference in my temps after putting this together. And just so you know, there's gonna be a part two video where I go through actually putting the rigs on the shelf and getting airflow measurements and temperature measurements. For anyone who's wanting to build something similar, I ended up using three quarter inch insulation board and these four by eight sheets were about $27 a piece from Lowe's. I originally wanted to use a half inch, but it was too flimsy. This is the perfect amount of rigidity to be able to build something like this. Okay, that fit pretty good. Now I just need to notch out the bottom for this little two by four, and then it should sit nice and flush, and I might put like a board right here just to kind of snug it between those two. So let me notch that out real quick. Okay, got the two walls up. It's not gonna be perfectly snug fit at the top, but with the 8,000 CFM fan, that should be very good. So now my plan is, I wanna be able to get behind there relatively easily. So I'm gonna try these Velcro command hooks on both things and just see if I can pinch this closed up and down it. I've already got this block over here pinching it tight to the window on both sides in my rack. So I'm gonna try the command hooks. The only last thing is I need to cut one more square that's gonna cover that right there. All right, there is the finished product. Obviously once I get a third rig, I can just cut this when I set the third rig up there. And right now I've got these command hooked, but they don't stick very well. One already came out here. So I probably will just put like one or two screws in. We've got one in that corner, one in this corner. And I might do on all four corners, but um, that holds it well. And then I can still just take the screws out if I ever need to get in there. So this is gonna be crazy airflow. Can kind of feel it a little bit but once that bigger fan gets here it's going to be crazy it's hot as hell in here so 
is difficult to film, but I mean, honestly, that looks very good. Probably hang the modern mining flags on it, maybe paint it a little bit. One other thing that I need to do is I bought materials to make a overhang over this window so it's not sucking in water when the rigs are so much closer. But that looks about as good as I wanted, so I'll see you guys next time. We'll do some fan readings once the rigs are all in there and we'll figure out if this is going to work or not. If you guys want to save money on your crypto mining taxes, check out this video.